closer to home. We do have some new information on the battle against the Louisiana red swamp crawfish. We were the first to show you DNR officials hunting and digging for the illegal and invasive species in Michigan. So now it is a year later. Paula Tutman is back along the water to show us what the DNR has learned in the past 12 months. So I want you to take a look inside this bucket. This is a haul, and this is just today. This is the red swamp crayfish, and I know to a lot of people, this looks like a delicacy. It looks like food, but in this part of the country, this particular species is not food. It is a serious nuisance and a danger. So this is our, our crayfish traps here. The hauls are alarming. Pretty normal haul. Today, 273 Louisiana red swamp crawfish pulled out of a man-made retention pond in Novi. Catch rates have been pretty consistent like this every day once the, once the summer got hot. For a year in a program funded by MDNR, or the Michigan Department of Natural Resources, Michigan State University has been a partner to study and contain this invasive species they discovered just last year. But they've got a pretty solid establishment. Yes, they do. So um, this species of crayfish can, what we're, what we're finding just in the first year of really studying them is it looks like they can breed three times a year. A female can have upwards over 700 eggs every time she breeds. So you're looking at 2,000 maybe for a really big individual, maybe 3,000 babies in a year. These are not the creatures of the Michigan crawfish boil. These are an aggressive, invasive species that wreak havoc with other wildlife as well as our environment. You might as well number them so that we can record which traps actually have the highest catches. We can do that. This is what these critters can do that our native crawfish do not. They dig deep burrows that soften the ground near waterways. The water levels fluctuate, they'll abandon their old burrows and adjust. And so you can see where they had an old burrow, um, it just crumbles. So if that was someone's lakefront property, they're losing anywhere from six inches to a foot of their lakefront property. Some people have said that a cousin or an aunt or an uncle has brought up crayfish for a boil. And when that happens, a lot of them can accidentally get released in our waters. This particular species of crayfish can walk over a mile on dry land if the humidity is high enough. So where you put it isn't necessarily where it ends up. Okay, so crayfish, crawfish, tomato, tomato, let's call the whole thing off. The bottom line is in less than a year, they have multiplied almost sevenfold. They are in at least 20 ponds and lakes in the area. The researchers say it's time to go drastic. And so in the next couple of weeks, they're going to basically deoxygenate some of these waterways so they can drive the crawfish out of the burrows, hopefully catching them. Karen, here's the thing. They could very possibly, when they pump in that CO2, kill everything else in here, Ugh. but it's a chance they feel like they have to take to stop these critters in the tracks. I mean, the fact that they multiplied seven times fold, I mean, that's just unbelievable. You mentioned the word they hopefully can figure this out in terms of containment. What are the odds on this, Paula? How likely? Uh, well, they feel like that if they can get them right now, they can get this handled now. And again, a lot of people say, yeah, this is food. Just sell them as food. There are other native species they can eat. These are so dangerous and damaging, they've got to get rid of them. All right. Paula Tutman live for us. We appreciate the update, and we know you will stay on top of it. Thank you.